Hello, everyone, and welcome to worship here at Ansel United Church in Markdale. It's Sunday, January the 24th. Before we begin worship, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been tuning into our YouTube channel. The response has been tremendous, and we welcome everybody who is watching us on YouTube. It is truly appreciated. I'd also like to thank all those who have been supporting us financially because the needs of the church continue. And for those who might wonder how they could contribute, just go to Canada Helps and type in Ansley United Church, and they'll sort of guide you as to how you can add your donation if you wish. Today's service is a little bit different. Today's service is all music. Very shortly, I'm going to play the prelude, and through the magic of our man behind the camera, he's going to have me planted at the organ rather quickly. I was hoping that we could just do a beam up like we do on Star Trek, but we're not quite ready for that yet. Maybe next time the transport will be ready. But today is all about music. We're going to start off with a prelude, and then the first hymn. I'm going to give a brief history about that hymn before you sing it. And then, of course, there'll be the second and third hymn, along with the postlude. Next Sunday, we will be back to regular worship services again. I hope that you enjoy today. We know it's a bit on the short side, but I hope you'll enjoy the music. I hope that you'll continue to watch us. And again, thanks so much for being with us. And now, the prelude. Just before we sing this hymn, I thought it would be kind of fun to learn a little bit about it. You know, we've sung some of these hymns for so long, but how often have we really looked back on the hymn? Where did it come from? Who wrote it? And what does the hymn mean? This first hymn, Ferris Lord Jesus, has a rather complicated background. Some think that the original words date back to as early as the 13th century. There's no proof of that but that's what they think. The words were originally translated from a Jesuit manuscript in the year 1662, and it first appeared in a hymnal in the year 1677. So this hymn has been sung for well over 300 years. The interesting thing about this hymn is nobody knows where the original words came from, And no one knows who really wrote the music for it. So when we're looking at the the research on this hymn, there's a whole lot we don't know. But what I think is interesting is that it's become a favorite of so many. Over the years, it's had different names. Way back when, it was actually called the Crusaders Hymn. 
Now, nobody knows why it was called the Crusader's Hymn. One of the theories was that, well, soldiers were singing this hymn on their way to Jerusalem. That has been disproven. So, where did it come from? Who knows? When I was very young, going to Sunday school, we sang Beautiful Savior instead of Ferris Lord Jesus. And I'm sure that in some households, they still think of this hymn as Beautiful Savior. When it comes to interpreting what a hymn means, I think that's left up to each individual. All of us will get something different out of the hymn. When you look at the words of this particular hymn, I think they're very self-explanatory. I guess why I'm doing this, I I would like to think that people perhaps can appreciate a hymn a bit more if they know a little bit of history. And I'm asking that as we sing these hymns, think about the words. Don't just sing the words, actually think about them. So let's sing this hymn and hopefully learn a little bit more about what the hymn means.